Well, wasn't that lovely? And just a note to let you all know, tonight's film in the park, Rockets from Outer Space, has totally sold out. Sorry for any disappointment. Oh, no, I wanted to see that. For you lucky people with tickets, the film starts at 8 o'clock sharp, and to get you in the mood, here's Rocket Man by the Buzz Allen Trio. Well, that's a shame. I know it's a load of nonsense, but I do like those science fiction films. There, that's you done. Right, let's check our corn, see if it's ready for harvesting. Come on, little red tractor, let's go! Marvellous. Looks like our corn is almost ready for harvest. Oh, stupid wasp. Uh, now, where was I? Oh, yes, harvesting. Buzz off! <laughs> we'll come back tomorrow. Come on, big boo! Get out! No! Get off me! Ouch! Look out! Oh my, that was close. Well done, Big Blue. Oh no! Look! Look at my lovely cornfield. Hmm. I guess we may as well do the harvesting now. I don't want anyone else seeing this mess. Let's go and fetch Harvey. Here we go. Perfect. This is ready to harvest. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go to Beach Farm, see if we can borrow Harvey. No time to lose, Harvey. I don't want anyone seeing my field in the state that it's in. It, who is, oh, it's that dreaded reporter. Oh, my, my, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Oh, he's even taking photographs. I'd better think of something fast. Oh, this will surely make the front page. Ah, hello there. Is this your field? Well, Yes. Did you see what happened? Uh, yes, I, I know. I found it like this this morning. <gasps> really? Yes. Um, ramblers. It must have been ramblers rambling oh, about. Nonsense. Look at the size of the tracks. Ramblers with big feet? It's space rockets. It's the only possible answer. They land at night and they flatten the crop in these wonderful patterns. Well, I, I really... Oh, you simply must see it from above. They look amazing from above. Get yourself up a ladder and have a look. But I... Uh... People will come from miles around to see this. You see... Pay good money, too. Money? Well, yes. And what's more, I'll have a front-page story for my newspaper. This really is a scoop. Money. Oh, I'll be the talk of the town. No sign of Harvey. I guess Mr Jones must be getting on with his harvesting. Oh, well, we'd better go and find something else to do. How about we give you a good wash and a polish? Bangs and the Tom Toms. And now a short break for some messages. Um, hello. Um, hey? Come and see the amazing, spectacular wonder for a small fee. I offer you a once in a lifetime opportunity to see corn circles made by genuine rockets from outer space. Mr. Jones? Come soak up a field behind Beach Farm. It's out of this world. All checks made payable to Mr. Jones Enterprises, children half price, no refunds. Mr. Jones will not be held accountable for any disappointments felt. And now... Corn circles? Space rockets? What is Mr. Jones up to? Well, we can't miss this, little red tractor. Come on, let's go! I can't believe it! It's amazing! A space rocket landed here! It must have been huge! Look at the marks. I'm going to try and stay awake tonight, just in case it comes back. Yeah. Oh, else I can hardly contain myself. Oh, yes, you really are missing out, Nicola. Quite a sight. Quite a sight. Well, I don't believe in space rockets. There has to be a perfectly normal explanation behind it. Well, that says maybe. Ah, here's Stan. I'm sure he's a believer. We've just heard you on the radio, Mr. Jones. Wasn't I marvellous? 
So what's all this about space rockets? You'll wish you hadn't asked. You'll have to see for yourself. Fifty, please. Waste of money, Stan. But you can't put a price on something like this. You have. They look like tractor tracks to me. No, 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 no. Space rocket tracks. You can ask Skip. Skip's an expert of this sort of thing. Oh, yes, they're definitely tracks left from a space rocket. And they will certainly be back. Be back? Oh, be back? Oh, yes, in my experience, they happen in twos. I'd keep an eye on your field next door if I were you. By the morning, there will be tracks there, too. Oh, no. By the morning? Well, that means a space rocket will be landing in that field tonight. So I'll have to, that is to say, uh, new marks will be made tonight? Indeed. Oh, what have I got myself into? Boy, I can't miss an opportunity like this. Nicola! I won't be able to make that film tonight. Something important has come up, girl. Oh, Dad, I was looking forward to that. If that's the film in the park, I'll go with you. Would you, Stan? That would be great. No problem. We'll pick you up at 7.30. Can't wait. So, Skip, when the second space rocket lands, it makes the same pattern in the corn? Oh, no, Walter. They're normally much bigger. Oh, no. <laughs> this is it. A real chance to see a genuine rocket from outer space. Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh, Walter! What you... Oh! Skip? Oh, what are you doing here? I've come to see the space rocket. Me too. <gasps> come over here and scooch down in the corner with me. I could do with the company. I mean, who knows when the rocket will arrive? Great, yeah. I can't say that I've ever been to an open-air film before, but that was great. Although it was a little far-fetched. Space rockets. <laughs> Sandwich? Oh, thank you. What was that? That? Cheese and cucumber. No. Can you feel it? Oh, yeah. Cheese and cucumber. Not the sandwich. The earth. It's shaking and uh, and that, that noise. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, Skip, these space rockets, um, how big are they? Uh, I don't know. I, I've, I've never actually seen one. Well, I think you're about to. Here it is. Walter, it's heading straight towards us. Out of here. Oh, oh, wait for me! Oh, oh, oh. That's odd. Those lights. It's just like in the film. Oi, get off! That's my camera. Give me mine back! Let go! Oh, my eyes! What's that? Oh, will you stop that? Me? Come on, little red tractor. Save me! Hey, look out! Who, um, who, who's there? Mr. Jones? Jones? You're the space rocket? I, uh, I, 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 I can explain. What is going on? Oh, so it was you that made the circles in the corn? It was an accident. The first ones were... Hold on, first things first. Is everyone okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, fine. Traumatised. I think I'll be okay. Who's asking you? Now look here. You were the one who came up with this harebrained scheme. Scheme? I thought the circles were genuine. This is all your fault. Look, the main thing is that everyone is OK. Yeah, thanks to Little Red Tractor, if it wasn't for him, me and Skip would have been mincemeat. Well, yes. Well, that's it. That's my big story. Oh, I can see it now. Space rocket enthusiasts saved from evil farmer. No, no. By Brave Tractor. Let's get a photograph. Smile. Oi, that's my camera. I hope this works, Little Red Tractor. If it does, it will take all the back-breaking work out of planting potatoes. Hiya! Hi, Stan. What are you doing? Hello, you two. You're just in time for a demonstration. Are you ready, Little Red Tractor? all over your farmyard. This was just a test. We're going up to Spud Field later, where the potatoes will fall into the furrows we've ploughed. That's really clever. 
mother. Stan? Yes? These potatoes are kind of funny looking. These are seed potatoes for planting. Can't you eat them? Well, not yet, but it doesn't take them long to grow into eating potatoes. So, can you paint with them? Paint with them? Mama's going to show us how to do potato printing, but she's run out of potatoes. I'm sure I don't know. You can take some and give them a try. Thanks, Stan. Thanks. See ya. See you later. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and get these potatoes planted. Mister! Come on, is that your best shot? <laughs> Morning, Mr Jones. Getting in a spot of exercise. Good to see. Good to see. Ah, yes. I'm testing out my new tennis machine. With its help, zah! It will not be long before I am top of the league at the tennis club. <clears throat> Never got into tennis myself. Running's my game. Born to run, which reminds me. Cramp. Must get going. Can't have the muscles cooling down. Danger of cramp. Got to keep moving. Quite. Must run. Hmm. I guess I really should get on too. Oh, if only there was an easier way to plant potatoes. Ah, oof! That's it. I think I have just had a brilliant idea. That's it, little red tractor. Nice and straight. This is taking no time at all. At this rate, we'll be finished before lunch. Oh, what on earth? A potato? Hello, Mr. Turvey. Oh, hi, Stumpy. Looks like the same thing happened to me as happened to you, struck by a potato. Potato? It's kind of funny looking. Hmm. Oh, just my luck. As soon as we get called out to a breakdown, we get a flat tire. Don't worry, big fella. We'll have you fixed up in no time. What was that? A potato. A potato? Yeah, a potato, a span of tatty. I know what a potato is, Dad. I'm just surprised someone's throwing them at us. Throwing them? You mean, you mean we're under attack? We are under attack! Take cover! But, Dad, I need to get... Hold up! Hello. What's going on? Potatoes. Eh? Potatoes, Stan. Someone's been throwing potatoes at us. They're seed potatoes. Oh, I thought they were kind of funny looking. They're like the ones I gave to Ryan and Amy. But I can't believe that they would be throwing them at people. No, not my kids. No, but perhaps they know where these have come from. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and ask. See you later. That's See you. you. Hmm. Still not quite right. Hmm. That's got it. Oh, yes. That should do the trick. May as well give it a full test. That's not right. Hello, Stan. I oh, my painting! I was about to ask if you knew anything about these flying potatoes, but you obviously don't. Where are they coming from? I don't know, but I think we should get inside. It's getting dangerous out here. Come on, little red tractor. Let's see if we can find out what's going on. Almost there. That's it, girl. You got it. <laughs> Still got a little of the old magic. <laughs> Just give me a little more time to get this wheel back on. I can't believe we're getting pelted with potatoes. Someone's got it in for us. <laughs> Still not quite right. <laughs> what the? Some fool is throwing potatoes at me. <laughs> I'm being attacked. <laughs> Hey! Ice! Here, I'd take cover if I were you. Nicola and I are under attack. If it's any consolation, everyone's under attack. It's not just the garage. Potatoes are flying all over the village. Nice dodge, little red tractor. 
Right, that does it. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. All done. Good work, Nicola. I'd oh, better get off to that breakdown. I'll keep guard here. How about that? Good stop, little red tractor. That was close. I wonder what this is all about. Where's Mr Jones? Ah! Mr Jones? Stan? What are you doing? Hiding, of course. Some fool is throwing potatoes at me. I think that fool is you, Mr Jones. What? This, um... um this thing? Ah, you mean my projectile potato planter? It takes the back-breaking work out of planting potatoes, you know. Well, it seems that it's been shooting potatoes all over the village. It's caused chaos. Oh. Um... Ouch! <laughs> Did you see that? that? That will be Walter defending the garage. He's been batting the potatoes back all day. He doesn't know they're coming from you. Oh. So it's, um, it's definitely my fault, then? Yes. Uh, I, uh, I think I may have been a bit silly. Hmm. I was only trying to make potato planting a little easier. Well, we've done ours, so why don't Little Red Tractor and I give you a hand? You... you'll help me? Sure. On two conditions. Anything. You have to load the potatoes into our machine. Absolutely. I said anything, anything at all. You just have to ask. And you have to go round to everyone and tell them that you were responsible for the potatoes today. Oh, do I have to? Yes, or we don't help you. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Mr. Jones, more potatoes, please. No, oh, this is ridiculous. Why do I have to do all the heavy work? Hurry up, Mr. Jones. Put your back into it. Those potatoes won't plant themselves. <laughs> I'll tell you what, little red tractor. Planting potatoes has never been easier. Oh, my back. Ah, that should be plenty. At least enough to give you a good wash patch. <laughs> now, I know you don't like it, but you're starting to smell. So, let's get on. Patch? Oh, don't tell me. He's run off. <laughs> Save me, little red tractor. <laughs> what are you two up to? I've got to hide from Ryan. I'm pretending to be the beast of Bubblebrook. <laughs> I thought you would be too young to have heard that old story. It's one of our favourite scary stories. We're getting ready for our camping trip. We always tell scary stories when we go camping. Camping, eh? Can we camp on your land? Mum says we can go camping. As long as she knows where we are. So can we? Can we, Stan? Of course. I'm having an evening in, so if you need anything or get scared... I won't get scared, but Amy might. I will not. <laughs> well, Little Red Tractor and I will be here if you need us. Great! Thanks, Stan! Right, now where is that dog? I guess he'll be home when he gets hungry. Come on, little red tractor. I need to get a video for my evening in. Mom, Big Blue, this new muck spreader works a treat. Hard to believe that this smelly old muck can be so good for the crops. One field down and one to go. Uh, a 
really shouldn't do this, but we'll leave the spreader on, and it will save us some valuable time. No one's about. Come on. Morning, Mr. Chief. Off we come. Oh, I can't see a thing. It's all in my eyes. I... Oh, oh, that's made it worse. Oh, Mr. Jones, when I get hold of you... Ah, oh, 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 nettles! Oh, ow, my hands! Oh, oh, why, 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 when we're so close to home? Oh. What? Nah, it can't be. Oh, it is. It's the, it's the, it's the beast of Babblebrook, and it's coming this way. Look, we gotta get out of here. Oh, please, Rusty, please. Oh, 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 oh. Look, if you don't move now, we're gonna be the beast of Babblebrook's lunch, and you're the main course. Oh, you little beauty! Right, let's split! Hey! Sounds like Rusty. Walter, are you there, Walter? Here you go, Stan. Chad Twinkle's new film. I've been looking forward to seeing this one. There's a great scene where he has to jump onto a runaway tractor. The Beast! I I've seen the Beast! The Beast of Babblebrook! I've just seen it! You can't have. That's just an old story. It's real! I've seen it with my own eyes! Oh, you must be mistaken. Well, I'm not taking any chances. I'm locking myself and you, Nicola, inside the garage. Now, come on, Rusty. Perhaps your dad did see something. We'll go check on our cows just in case. Now, one more load should cover it. Hold on. What on earth? No, it can't be. It is. It's the... It's the... The, the Beast of Babelbrook. Oh, dear. Dear, dear me. Right. Now what to do? Ah, uh, yes. That's it. Hide. Must hide. Hide till it goes away. Come on, be... Ooh. Hello, ladies. Well, they all seem fine. Let's get on home and see if we can bath that dog. Strange. Why would Stumpy leave Nipper here? We'd better tow him out of the way, but I wonder where Stumpy is. Hello, you two. What's up? Mum won't let us go camping on our own tonight. Walter told her he saw the Beast of Babblebrook. Oh, you know there's no such thing. We know, but Walter went on and on about it. Now Mum sort of believes him. Why don't you ask a grown-up to go with you? I'm sure your Mum would be fine with that. Um, maybe. I'd come along, but I've still got to give Patch a bath. What about Mr Jones? Try asking him. OK, yeah. Come on, little red tractor. Let's get Nipper home. It was monstrous. All fur and teeth. Yeah, yeah, and claws. Grrr. Fur and teeth and claws. Scary, it's very scary. Here you go. Two loaves of bread and ten tins of soup. Lovely. Right, I'm off to hide until the beast is caught. I suggest you do the same. Cheerio! Mr Jones has got the right idea. Quick, Nicola, come on, get inside. Both as bad as each other. Looks like he's busy. Let's ask him anyway. If that's the beast, there's no one here. Go away! It's us, Mr Jones. Amy and Ryan. Oh, well, you two shouldn't be out alone, not with the beast of Babblebrook roaming the countryside. There's no such thing, Mr. Jones. Of course there is. Now go home directly and don't stop to talk to any strange monsters on the way. But, Mr. Jones. Home! Grown ups are really weird. Oh, I can't believe it. This day's getting worse. 
Patch! Patch! Have you given Patch his bath yet? Not yet. I've got to catch him first. What did Mr Jones say about the camping? He's too busy hiding from the beast. <laughs> Look, I've had an idea. What if you camp here in the farmyard? Here? We can put your tent in here, which means I'm seconds away. And if I park Little Red Tractor right by the side, he can keep an eye on you. Brilliant! Don't worry, I'll stop your runaway tractor. Oh, Chad, you're so brave, so fearless. <laughs> then there was a scratching at the door. Scratch, scratch, scratch. And when the old lady answered the door... <laughs> what was that? The beast or Babble Brook. I'm not kidding, Amy. There's something out there. <gasps> oh. Amy, it's the beast. Yeah, right. <gasps> Shh. It is. And it's heading right for us. Get behind, Little Red Tractor. Help us, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> what? Don't... Oh. What's going on? This red tractor's caught the beast of Babblebrook. Sounds like he's caught something. But what? Stumpy? Stumpy? <laughs> you wouldn't believe the day I've had. Oh, I even managed to lose Nipper. Nipper is safe and sound. Ugh, what is that smell? Um, well, that'll be me. I do pong a bit. You know... I think it must have been you that Walter saw Stumpy wandering about the field. <laughs> Stumpy is the beast of Babblebrook. Little Red Tractor saved us from Stumpy. Ha! <laughs> huh. I reckon he did a good job keeping an eye on the pair of you. He was really cool. You're my hero, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> <laughs>